In February 1946, the U.S. government revealed to the public the existence of a secret computer, which had been developed under the code name Project PX. The computer was called ENIAC, a massive electronic digital computer. ENIAC stands for Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer. It was the world's first large-scale digital electronic general-purpose computer. It was designed to be capable of being reprogrammed to solve a large number of numerical problems. The problem the Army had during World War II with its long and medium-range cannons was hitting a target miles away. But there was a differential calculus equation, and if you could put in one set of weather conditions for one gun and one missile, you could calculate the trajectory and you could figure out what angle to shoot the gun. It celebrated the machine's designers, John Mockley and J. Presper Eckert. What the Army didn't tell the world was that the new machine had been programmed by six women mathematicians. A week after we graduated, I saw an ad in the paper, and the ad was, of all things, looking for women with a major in mathematics. A friend of my sister's called me and said, you know how to run an adding machine. I said, yes. Yeah. She said, well, at the University of Pennsylvania, they're looking for people who can run adding machines. Why don't you go up to the Moore School and see if you can get a job there? I come from a long line of school teachers and farmers. And I was born in Gentry County, Missouri, uh, about two miles outside a little town called Alanthus Grove. I love college. I mean, I went when I was 16, and the first time I'd ever been away from home. Goldstein invited Betty and me out to his, uh, and his wife, Adele was there, to his apartment. And he asked us if the ENIAC, if the trajectory was ready to go, and if they could use it as a demonstration for the announcement on the 15th. Well, Betty and I were pretty sure it was perfect. So we said, you bet. <laughs> yeah. It started out as a way to calculate missile trajectories for World War II, but then it got reprogrammed by six women who were great mathematicians and brought in to teach it how to do things like atom bomb explosions and that sort of thing. Well, they went out to for dinner with all the people, but guess what? Not the Antioch women. Betty and I weren't invited. So <laughs> we were sort of horrified. Then after years, I mean, nobody paid any attention to the Antioch women. Tom Petzanger, who write, wrote the upfront column in the Wall Street Journal on Fridays, heard about us. He wrote two columns in the Wall Street Journal. Then everybody was interested in us. The first all-electronic digital computer, six computers, were selected in 1945 to be its first programmers. They were Kathleen McNulty, Mockley Antonelli, Jean Jennings Bartik, Francis Snyder Holburton, Marlon Westkoff Meltzer, Francis Belis Spence, and Ruth Lichterman Teitelbaum. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.